back again. And this time we're going to talk about premium starting hands. So you get two cards, whole cards. But how do you know it's a good hand, right? It's, um, it's your first two cards, you don't even see the flop. What are the possibilities? Now we're going to teach you what's a good hand to start with. Okay? Yeah, so not all hands are created equal. So when you first start to play, you want to learn which hands are better to start with so you have more of a chance. Because it might seem like you can be lucky at every single hand you play, but more better hands have better chances to win. Very simple. Exactly. Great. Right. Easiest of all to decide with is if somebody starts with two aces. Two aces is the best hand to start with normally. Um, and if you're playing hands up, it has something what? An 87% chance to win? It does, yes. 87 chance to win if you're playing just two players. Because it's, it's, you already have a pair of A's. It's the highest pair, even before the flop it comes up. So there's no higher card that came out, can come out on the flop against you. Right? Yep. Comparable to what? Let's say um, you play with Queens. Queens is a good hand. But if the flop comes up Ace, King, 10, your Queens is pretty much anybody with an Ace or a King can beat you, right? Exactly. So it's not the highest pocket pair to start off with. But it's a good pocket pair. It's a great pocket pair. All right. So we got Jacks, which is uh, some poker players that say that Hell is being under the gun, the first to act, and having Jacks. Because they don't know what to do with it. They bet, somebody calls him, comes out, uh, King, Queen, or uh, Ace comes out. They're beat the right guy for. So in the case when you have a pair of like starting jacks, if the flop comes out uh, under jacks, then you're in a really good position. Mm -hmm. Now, the other next set of hands is something with an ace, anything with an ace, but then you want something with a good kicker. So an ace jack is okay, but what you're really looking for is an ace king. We got one right here. It's um, suited. An ace king suited, yeah. So when it's suited, it's even stronger, meaning that you, in this case, you can get a, a straight or you can get a a flush, right? Uh, but the kicker is a very strong kicker, meaning that if you were to go against someone who had an ace jack and you had an ace king and there was an ace on the flop, when it comes down to the river and the showdown, who's gonna win it? The ace king's gonna win it. The king plays, right? So this is really good hands, but then you have other hands like this. Uh, pocket pairs, nines, which are like lower, right? But they're still a good hand, but this will depend more on what? How many players are playing? So what your position hand. is, yeah. seeing how people play. So if you're playing near the end of the round, uh, meaning that you're at the button or right before the button, then you can see if everyone kind of just limped in, meaning they did the minimum bet. So then this is a good hand to play with. But a kind of more dangerous hand to play with, obviously, is something like pocket fours. Sure. Because anything that happens on the flop, that's over four that can kill you. But the beauty of a pocket four is, people don't expect you to have a pocket four. So this kind of hand is the kind of hand that if you hit a three of a kind, you have a really good chance of people not expecting you to have a three of a kind. And pick it off. Yeah, exactly. Because why would some crazy guy be playing with fours? So it's like four, three, eight, right? That's what happens. And you have three of a kind fours. Because normally people would just throw this away, yeah. right? So if you hit it, that's when you want to bet with it. And I want to share with you one very special hand, okay? Um, it's queen seven, queen seven. And you might think, ah, it's not the worst hand in the world. But this is called the computer hand. This hand is because, because what, what's happened is that they've computed it, that if someone plays with the queen seven, they're most likely to lose the most amount of money. The reason why is because it's not able to complete a, uh, uh, a straight. So seven, eight, nine, 10, jack, not. Yeah, it's not able to do it, right? Uh, but it's high enough that you don't want to just throw it away, but it's not uh, low enough, or I don't know, how do I say? It's not high enough that it's actually the win hand, and it's not low enough for you to surprise people with. So this hand, actually, you, the computer hand, uh, queen seven, yes, that uh, it has a really high probability to make you lose the most amount of money. Uh, computer hand. So that's it for starting hands. It's really important that when you first start to play poker, don't just play every single hand that comes. Look for some quality hands, wait and see. And you'll be surprised that sometimes you might say, oh, I had a 5-6, I folded it, and it became a, a full house. But more than not, if you try to remember some of the hands you didn't play with, that were kind of garbage hands, junk hands we call them, 
and you'll see you're actually saving money, right? So poker is really a game where you control your destiny by your chips. Yep. Right? And, and by choosing the correct hands to play, to with. play with and invest in. And that's it. All right. Girls, you got it? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> If you're ready, take your seat at HeroPoker.net and be epic.